It is time to dive into another case in the headlines with help from WATE 6 on your side, legal analyst Greg Isaacs. Greg, thank you for being here. It's good to be here, Lori. Uh, this is a case we're talking about that a lot of people have paid a lot of attention to. Knox County mom Lindsay Leonardo facing charges after her 11-month-old was found unresponsive in a bathtub. The little boy, Aiden, later died. Well, yesterday and today, we've had crews in the courtroom for her preliminary hearing. Let's talk about what has come out of that hearing. Lori, you could tell Judge Long was greatly affected by what she heard. Mm -hmm. uh, the 32-year-old mother put an 11-month-old and a 23-month-old in a tub of water, mm -hmm. four to six inches. Uh, then, uh, instead of watching the children, bathing the children, went outside for some, quote, and this came out in court, me time. Smoked a cigarette, listened to music on her phone. When she returned, the 11-month-old was in the water, unresponsive. Mm. Prosecutors acted swiftly. Uh, they charged uh, the 32-year-old with uh, felony murder, mm -hmm. first-degree felony murder, 52 years, uh, based on aggravated uh, child abuse and neglect. And you can you can be charged with that one of three ways: mm -hmm. uh, a serious bodily injury, using a weapon, if you uh, treat a child uh, in a heinous, atrocious, cruel manner, torture mm -hmm. the child, or in this case. If you do something that places a child in a situation that is inherently dangerous. And obviously and looking at that, this yes, was. Right. And, and the standard is, uh, would a reasonable person know that this is a gross deviation from the standard of care? Yeah. Would, would any mother put their child in a tub of water, leave them alone at that age? Judge Long uh, took two days to decide whether there was probable cause mm -hmm. to send the case to the grand jury. And that's what's happening next. So what can we expect well, from that she process? She indicated to the judge that it was foreseeable that if you placed an 11-month-old unattended in four to six inches of water, uh, that a homicide would occur. It was not accidental. It, it caused a lot neglectful. of us to shake our heads. And the judge shook her head and said yeah. what's really uh, remarkably not foreseeable is that the 23-year-old didn't die as well. Month old, 23 month old, 23 month old, yeah. did not die as well. Mm. So now this case will go to the grand jury. Uh, Tennessee uh, is one of 48 states that has a grand jury mm -hmm. to review the facts again. 13 jurors meet in secret. Uh, then the case will uh, come out in criminal court. Uh, but this neglectful mother is looking uh, at very, uh, a very stiff sentence, uh, but a very tragic, senseless crime here in Knox County. Loss of that young life. All right. Greg, thank you. Thank you. Well, if you have a question for Greg, send an email to askisaacs at wate.com. And be sure to tune in to WATE 6 on your side news at 530 every Wednesday to see if he answers any of your legal questions.